Okay, for the mane. I still have this piece attached to the yarn. So I'm going to work the other end for a minute. I guess I'll be on the outside. And I'm going to stitch a line here to attach the main two to make sure it's straight. So we started with 20 stitches originally from here to here. So we're gonna find the center and we're gonna go up 10 rows as best as you can. I mean, it's staggered a little bit. So you'll probably have to stagger your stitches, but go up 10 rows, start here and then work to the center. And then we're gonna work straight down as best as you can, 30 more rows. So you're just gonna work in and grab it. So each row is one stitch. So you'll have 10 stitches here, 30 stitches down the back. I did cover a couple of stitches over this, so here is my center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's where I'm going to start. Put this up under, and I'm just going to top stitch that down. Okay, you can see I would follow the pattern and pull it back here and there. I'm just gonna keep doing the thir same thing, 30 more stitches. And you can like eyeball it and put a couple markers beforehand if you want to, bobby pins or something. Okay, so you can see I've got a few more stitches down. I actually think the zigzag makes it look a little more natural, as natural as it can for a little cartoon horse. I just put this kind of like this just to give myself a guideline and it's really helping. So I'll just move that down a little bit more. And keep going. Okay, so I have my 40 total, 10 up here, 30 loops here. Don't need that. I'm just going to actually, ooh, don't pull it out, cut this. I'm gonna work this to the inside and then I'm just gonna weave in both of the ends from this purple piece. And this line here is going to be so that I don't have to try to sew the mane on when it's done and make sure it's straight because I don't think I could do that. So this way it's all in position, I can see it well could have gone this way a little bit more. But I think that looks pretty good. So we're gonna run these two threads and then get back to this piece. Okay, so now going back to this, we're gonna take this one and we're just gonna pick up right here and work all the way up. Now we're going to work four rows one, two, three, four, and you're only going to increase one right up at this little corner. And that's gonna give it a bit of a curve there. Try to keep 10 on the top. I'm gonna kind of stagger my increases, but keep them right on this corner here. Got this back on. Find that first one. First one's a little tight because I pulled it while I was weaving in the ends. There, it's on now. So I've got the first row on there. And uh, when you're doing the uh, top stitching, don't pull it too tight, because that was a pain in the butt to get through. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do one, 
do three more rows, increasing once at the corner. Okay, so I'm going to do this as clearly as I can. Let's see. I drew this out. I tried to kind of plan it out. I don't know if that would help you guys kind of visualize what I'm going to do. So, Meng's mane has the four bigger tufts and then the one smaller tuft. So we're starting here at the bottom. We're going to do the one smaller one. And then the four bigger ones are all going to be the same as each other. So I don't know if that helps you out any. I know this is a post and these are wraps. So for this first little one, we're going to wrap twice. And then for the other ones, we're all going to wrap three times. So this is the same as each of these. So we'll see how we do with this. Okay, so got here. I did not add the one to turn. So what we're going to do is wrap once, wrap twice, and you don't want them to spread out too much. Try to keep them snugged up here or you'll end up with a loop in the back. And we wrap twice, so we're going to skip two. This is the one we're working in. Skip one, skip two, into the third. Right there. One, two, three. So that's what we're going to do. Now this one, this first smaller tuft, I spread these out into two stitches on the bottom because they get really tight. So we're gonna put one, two, three, four into this one. And then we're gonna put one, two, three into that next stitch. So there's the first. Wrap once, wrap twice, keep it snug into the same. That's two. Three. Four. One, two, three, four posts. Now, I think technically you'd want to keep it all in this, but it just got really too tight for my liking. So I'm going to put three more into this next stitch here. So wrap twice into here. One. Two. I'm going to redo that one because you see I got this big loop in the back. It's because I didn't keep them snug enough. One, two. Keep them nice and snug right up there. Redo that one. Three. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total posts across. And now we skipped the two here because of the two wraps, so we're going to skip the one, two here. So in this third one, we're going to go in and we're just going to do one slip stitch. So right through that and right through that, and that's going to attach the bottom piece. So there's our first tuft. And now we're going to start right in on the second one. And the second, or the rest of them, are the same thing but they are slightly bigger. So this one has seven to get around here. This one's going to have nine. So you're gonna do nine posts. I'll show you in this one. So we have five in this first one and then four in this second one. And then we were wrapping it three times. And because we're wrapping it three, we're gonna skip three. Okay, so keeping that snug. One, two, three. Nice and snug. Skip one, two, three into the fourth. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, and four. I think we're gonna have a bit of a loose piece there no matter what. Okay, so there's my first post here. 
This will kind of tuck down a little bit once we have the rest of them on. One, two, three. And I don't, I know these posts are double crochet or maybe a triple. This is a triple, I think. So I, this one doesn't actually have a name, but theoretically you could really wrap as many times as you wanted to. Two, Three, five. So there's that one. So I have the first five posts into the first stitch, and then I'm going to do four more into the second one. So you can kind of see it's getting really packed, and that's why I decided to do two. So let's see one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And remember we wrapped three, so we're gonna skip one, two, three into the fourth and do a slip stitch. And there is that one. And I mean, it does look a little different from the other side and it does seem a little warbly, kind of holes. But I mean, it is supposed to be a mane, so it's hair. But this was really the best thing I could think of to give me that look that I wanted. So now we're just going to go ahead and repeat this one with the three wraps, the nine posts across, five in this one, four in this one, and we're just going to do that three more times. Okay, so I'm just finishing up my last little tuft here, and even after all my careful calculations, I still ended up with one extra stitch. Skip one, two, three, and end up here. So I'm just gonna stretch this to the last one here and attach it there. Like that. Oh yeah, that lays fine. And there's his mane. I think it came out really good. Because I wasn't sure how I was going to do that, but it came out just the way I wanted to. So that's it for that one, and then part three will be the body.